Okay, so let's do an example of finding the greatest common divisor of two polynomials using the Euclidean algorithm. So we're going to start with 3x to the 6 plus 2x squared plus x plus 5 and 6x to the 4th plus x cubed plus 2x plus 4 in f7 of x. Right, so that's um, polynomials with coefficients from the field with seven elements, or z mod 7z. Okay, so one of these has smaller degree than the other, so we divide it into the one with bigger degree. And it sets up just like this. And now we look and say, well, what do we need to multiply 6x to the 4th by to get 3x to the 6th? Well, clearly we need an x squared. Uh, so how do we turn the 6 into a 3 in f7? Well, we think about it for a minute and see that 6 times 4 is 24, which is 3 mod 7. We have 4x squared. Multiply that by the polynomial we're dividing in. Line up matching terms, subtract, and notice here that when I took 0x to the 5th minus 4x to the 5th, I wrote down 3x to the 5th instead of minus 4x to the 5th. That's because minus 4 and 3 are the same mod 7. Same thing, I could have had minus x cubed, I wrote 6x cubed. Um, and so now we can still divide the 6x to the 4th in, and again we need a 4 to get the 3 and an x, and we do the same algebraic operations, um, mod 7, and see that we're left with 3x to the 4th plus 6x cubed plus 6x squared plus 6x plus 5. Okay, now we've got the x to the 4th, so we just need the 3, so we're going to need another uh, plus 4 to finish off the quotient here, so we get 3x to the 4th plus 4x cubed plus x plus 2. Subtracting leaves us with 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x plus 3. That has smaller degree than the divisor, 6x to the 4th plus x cubed plus 2x plus 4, so we need to go do another long division. So we set up 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x plus 3, and we divide that into 6x to the 4th plus x cubed plus 2x plus 4. Not too hard to see that we need to start off with a 3x here. That gives us 6x to the 4th, plus 4x cubed, plus x squared, plus 2x, subtract, adjust coefficients mod 7. We're left with 4x cubed, plus 6x squared, plus 4. So, okay, we need a plus 2 to plop into our quotient. Multiply that across and reduce our coefficients. And we find, subtracting, we've got x squared plus 4x plus 5. That has smaller degree, so time to start another new division problem. So now we're going to divide 2x, or x squared plus 4x plus 5 into 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5x plus 3. We need a 2x in the quotient to get us started. And then that multiplies out to give us 2x cubed plus x squared plus 3x. We subtract, we're left with 5x squared plus 2x plus 3, and now we need a plus 5 in the quotient. So we get 5x squared plus 20x, that's 6x, uh, plus 25, that's 4. Leaves us with a remainder of 3x plus 6, that's a legitimate remainder because the degree is smaller than the degree of the quadratic we're dividing by. So we go do another round of long division, and we divide 3x plus 6 into x squared plus 4x plus 5. And so we need um, to multiply the 3 by a 5 to get back to a 1, so we need to multiply by 5x to get started. It gives us x squared plus 2x. 30x became 2x. Subtract that off, leaves 2x plus 5, not to a remainder yet because the degree isn't small enough. So we need to multiply that 3 by uh, 3, and that will give us 9, uh, 3x times 3 will give us 9x, but that's 2x mod 7. So we've got plus 3, and we're left with a remainder of 1. That has degree 0, it's smaller, so now we need to divide 1 into 3x plus 3, uh, 6. Sorry, yeah, 3x plus 6. 
obviously goes in there 3x plus 6 times, gives us a remainder of 0. So our GCD is 1, since that was the last non-zero remainder that we encountered in running through the Euclidean algorithm.